I guess straight uh, got to Circos. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, you can go to Circos because I have already demonstrated Autodoc. Oh, good, very good, very good. Yeah, then I can, uh, Nancy, you can just wind up in a couple of minutes, then uh, Paji will take over. Yes, sure. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Like, if anybody will be having any queries, uh, if everybody agrees, we can uh, do this again after Harpreet Sir's talk, like if yeah. everybody is willing to do. Yeah, that's wonderful. So that by that time, you can also start doing on it. And any queries, you can always ask. Yeah, thank you. That will be wonderful. Thank you. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Renika. That was a wonderful session. I uh, really appreciate your efforts. Yeah, now, uh, Ashok ji, uh, now we yes, can yes, yes, introduce yes. Uh, Paji. Thank so you. Now, now I am very happy to introduce uh, Dr. Harpreet Singh. And uh, he doesn't require uh, as a such introduction because he introduced me to this bio clues. So it's sometimes really uh, privileged i will be introducing dr harpreet singh <laughs> so what i say about him we have a connection which is not visible maybe in the past uh, he was my junior he passed his msc from 2002 and completed in 2004 in from msc biotechnology from guru nanak university and he did it post graduate advanced post graduate diploma in bioinformatics in 2004 and 5 which i regret i doesn't get the chance to join this institute i was rejected by in the sense i really congratulated you so he did his post graduation training from uh, gnu after that he is teaching in uh, as a assistant professor in uh, hansraj mahila vidya mahavidyala jalandhar and one thing i can say about him when i am seeing and watching and following him from uh, uh, his work I can see he's a very dedicated. Hello, I am uh, audible. Yeah, now audible. Please go ahead. Now go ahead. Well or not? Am I audible? Yeah, now you are. It is fine. Please go ahead. Yes, Ashok. Yes, yes. So he is uh, right now. He is leading a department of uh, uh, HMV uh, Jalandhar uh, as a. of my informatics part of wonderful publication which is really cited very good so i gone through his uh, google scholar he is building the bioinformatics field uh, maybe in the volunteering and mentoring lot of students and one thing i can surely say what he is doing right now is attached with the galaxy workflows it will be going to be very drastically the change in the scenery of analytics of bioinformatics in the field of in india itself in the future so with this word harpreet and we uh, called him uh, with the love paji you can just start thank you very much thank you very much i'm out of yeah. yeah thank you very much ashok for the nice introduction and uh, i must say that the, the there are people like ashok prash sugu uh, jaraman sir sundarajan sir and all the team of bioclues that i have got so much recognition and i have got so much uh, opportunities and uh, uh, it's my duty uh, to take bioinformatics to the bioinformatics as well as bioclues to the next level and luckily uh, due to uh, the support from bioclues only and from the support of my friends i have been giving given bigger responsibilities like as a secretary of the ap bionet and, and uh, bringing galaxy india community uh, live uh, uh, in in the next coming months uh, so uh, i i love teaching i love helping uh, uh, students and first of all i apologize for uh, being late uh, by 10 minutes I actually i travel from jalandhar uh, so okay anshu now is is my voice clear now or uh, uh, still there is a disturbance my voice voice is clear to everyone thank you thank you so uh, so uh, today i will be uh, concentrating on uh, one of the aspects of uh, 
the graphical representation of data, which is called the circular layout, which is called circles uh, by uh, by default. And uh, I will be dealing with some very basic uh, uh, things uh, uh, to create circles maps in in, in Galaxy. Uh, and I think uh, uh, you have already gone through the session of uh, uh, Kiran and Sangram. So you all must be familiar with uh, how the Galaxy uh, Galaxy uh, workflows uh, uh, are to be done. So we will be dealing with some simple exercises, uh, how to build Circos map and you can try at your own for other things. I will give you a path on which you will you have to walk and uh, you have to taste the uh, how we can build a circular representation. So I will be dealing in the first uh, 15, 20 minutes, I will be dealing my uh, presentation part where we will be try to uh, examine what are circles and what I mean uh, by circles when I uh, am talking about it. And then we will try to have some demonstration and I will show you some tutorials which are available at uh, uh, usegalaxy.com. Uh, use Galaxy and uh, uh, then we can go through that tutorial. So let's start uh, with a circular representation of uh, data. So just give me a minute. Yeah. So circles a circular view of data. It's a tagline which uh, I will be I will be trying to uh, discuss today. I will be dealing with. And uh, uh, this is the overview of how different types of Circos maps can be built. And actually Circos is a software package which has which is used for visualizing data in circular layout. And uh, this has been very important because uh, the representation of data plays a very important role, what we can extract from the data or what, or what we can understand from the data. And uh, when we come to the circular layout, it circle layout give many advantages and uh, that in which we can explore a, 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 a large number of relationship in one view. Uh, for example, we can explore the relationship between object and positions. That's the first thing uh, about circles. And this has been very useful in bioinformatics to visualize genomic data that related to position. For example, whether some positions are conserved, do want to have alignments, whether some there are some duplications, there are some uh, synteny relationship between different organisms. So if we want to explore such genomic relationships, circles are an excellent, excellent uh, map, excellent way to show that. Uh, circles, uh, they are designed for visualizing genomic data originally, but they can be used to create circular layout in any field where it can be applicable, whether it, this can be applied to the uh, sensor surveys, they can be applied to uh, the other uh, uh, debates data and other 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 type of data, and the with the with the popularity of the circus layout, the circus plots they have been uh, they have been appearing in the thousands of scientific publications for the last decade or so. So these are some of the examples. The latest papers which I have cited here uh, they deal with the circular layout of data in different different relationships. It means uh, the the uh, whether we want to have some connections between different parts of the chromosome, whether we want to view some of the other parts, uh, we will explore all these relationships one by one in a meanwhile. Okay, so circular circles can uh, support different plot types. Uh, we can not only display the relationship between some data and the position, but we also have an option to display uh, this this relationship as a number of uh, different plotting diagram. For example, we can display the, uh, the relationship in form of histogram, scatter plots, heat, heat map, etc. And the, uh, the beauty of circles is we can plot the data, different layers of data, same to, with different layers belonging to same data in number of tracks. And that's where the circles are very, very helpful to display a number of uh, different relationship uh, between different data and positions in, in one layout in one map. Okay, so circles is an iterative process. Yes, uh, it's not only that we build a circles uh, in one go, we have to try and uh, different combinations of data. We have to try different parameters uh, to develop a map. So this is one example where we can start with a very simple map and we can grow to a, 
uh, we can evolve a very complex map from that simple map. So this is the layout which I will be using in a in a short while with the uh, uh, Galaxy. Galaxy Circos uh, use the most of the features which are available at Circos. Circos can be downloaded and run at a standalone platform also, uh, but uh, it's a little bit tricky to use. In in in, a, in in contrast, the Circos tool in Galaxy Galaxy Circos tool uh, that is very user friendly. That is very straightforward to use, and uh, almost most of the common uh, you know commonly used Circos features they are available also in Galaxy Circos. And if you want to explore more complex features, once you are trained, once you are confident, uh, you can go uh, for what we call as the standalone version also. So we can have circles in many form. For example, this is simplest type of circles, which we where we show a ideogram. Ideogram is nothing, but we want to is you know arrange the data of different chromosomes, uh, chromosomal map for any organism. For example, human, mouse, and other organisms. So is if we have a layout of data, all the chromosomal layout of data, uh, with uh, in in a ratio of the size of the chromosome, we can get such type of ideogram also. The data tracks can be are, are very important, and I will spend some time of defining uh, on defining different type of data tracks. For example, uh, we these different layers are called the data tracks. Okay, and that data tracks can can be of many many different types. For example, a scattered pl plot can be uh, given as a track in which some type of data, some feature of uh, the underlying data, which can be showed in form of the points, uh, in form of the scatter plot. And this is something very important. I have, I have, I have uh, got this text from uh, the Galaxy tutorial. So data format. Uh, now this is very important. If you want to plot a scatter plot in Circos, what type of data you should be having and in your hand? So the data should be like, for example, a chromosome, and we, we need to specify the start and end uh, position of the, the the feature we want to have. There's a value of the feature. How many? points we want to plot at that particular region and if you have some attribute for example if you want to color uh, the things differently than the default setting you can also use that attribute for example the color fill color is, is equal to red attribute can be used in the next part okay so this is a data format which is required if we want to have a scatter plot along as a track in the circles plot so remember this data type because this data type is basic to many many different type of plots which we can arrange in this circus layout line track in instead of having the data in form of scatter plot sometimes the relationship is better shown in terms of lines so we can draw the lines we can draw the we can you know uh, depict the variations in the data in form of line and that we have we can show it form of a line plot track type so we can have a track type which is which shows the data in form of line and the data used for the line plot is similar to what we uh, imagine, what, what we discuss about the uh, scatter plot sometimes the is, is, uh, the feature can be expressed better in form a histogram so we have an option to plot a histogram as a track in circos so we can use that 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 uh, layout in in uh, also uh, as in line plot and scatter plot the histogram also has a similar data type layout which is required to plot the histogram in in addition to histogram we also have a heat map
Ya, yeah, heartbreak. Yeah, heartbreak, can you hear me? Uh, I think Prash is not here. I think uh, he got some problem with okay. the system. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll just become, yeah. 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 So in the in the meantime, you know, as Herbert joins, as I mentioned, you know, uh, you know, these stocks in between, you know, uh, are usually inserted, you know, knowingly so that you know you'll not run away in between because you know otherwise you know you'll be too much, you know, overwhelmed. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why you know we uh, made it, uh, you know, some some of the you know very basic introductory talks as well. Okay, uh, I was just wondering, you know, uh, what happened uh, to your pipeline? I'm sorry, during the last uh, two days, you know, we couldn't do it. Uh, has anyone finished uh, until uh, at least the VCF step? You can just unmute your microphone, please, and uh, speak. Anyone? Yeah. Or even you can chat. Yeah. Okay, great. Great. Yeah, I'm really glad uh, that, you know, you could run it. Yeah. Uh, others, please. Yeah. Uh, my uh, SAM file is uh, being created till now, and I have uh, given that command to convert the SAM to BAM. Okay, well, you are still in that particular step. Maybe it's time, you know, you uh, hurry up. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll quickly, you know, today I doubt, you know, you'll have time because. Uh, Hello. Yeah, happy. Uh, welcome. Sorry, back. sorry. I think there was some uh, sudden network uh, failure. I am sorry for that. Yeah, no problem. Please go ahead, Arpreet. Uh, we'll just, you know. So what I was saying is NGS pipeline, maybe tomorrow I'll uh, take because we have you know, ample time. So until then, you please finish until you know the VCF. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Any questions, please feel free to ask in the WhatsApp. Yeah. Please continue, uh, uh, Arpreet. Huh? Thank you so much. Oh, uh, but uh, sir, uh, one qu question uh, is that... Can we, uh, can we just stop later, please? Uh, can okay, we just okay, stop? Okay. So, was this question for me or for Prash? No, uh, it was for uh, Prashant, sir. Okay. So, uh, so I'm sorry once again for the interruption. You can contact the Prash again after some time. Fine. Okay, sir. Okay. Let us concentrate on some some of the exercises uh, on Circos uh, layout. So, we were talking about the next type of uh, track, which is called tile track. So, tile track is a uh, track uh, uh, again i want to emphasize on one point that it depend upon the data and also depend upon the feature and also depend upon the way you want to look at the data uh, uh, with which you choose whether you want to have uh, a track as a histogram or, or track as a scatter plot or track as a tile track and so on so tile track is a little bit different from the other two tracks uh, so in the data, we have a start and end is there, but we also have something called a label of the tile. Okay, so different tiles can be labeled differently and uh, attributes are always optional. That is not, sometimes we require some to display some attribute and sometimes we do not require. So that is there. Also, instead of tiles, uh, many times, for example, you want to show the gene names on, uh, on a particular chromosome, so that can be achieved by using what we call a text track in which we can arrange the data in form of text. So they can also be plotted. That's, that's you can imagine that what a diversity the scatter, the circles plot offers. Uh, you can have the text data, you have a numerical data, you have a graphical data in form of lines, histogram, and so on. And uh, uh, the data of the text track is similar to, data format of the text track is similar to what we have for the tiles plot track. Another important is a link track. Uh, sometimes you want to show the relationship in form of the links uh, uh, between different parts of uh, the layout. And these links can be added using what we call as a link track. Uh, the lines which are shown in the figure, they're the link track where you can get different type of data. Uh, they're linked together to different parts of the chromosome. For example, you want to show uh, that whether some chromosome have been duplicated and they have been copied to a different part of the chromosome or, or or some other chromosome if they are similar you can you can plot that data in form of what we call as a link link track so link track has a, 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 a little bit different option like in 
chromosome is always required uh, start end is there and we also want to uh, specify the other other chromosome in which we are expecting some duplication or to where we want to link so chromosome 1 the start of the link and chromosome 2 and start and end are the, are the end of the link so we have to specify the two parts of the chromosomes in which we want to establish some links so here we have uh, given uh, example of very simple example of the two chromosomes you can establish link between n number of chromosome as per your data and as per your requirement so link track has two formats the first format i have shown here uh, the upper upper part of my slide and the lower part of slide specify uh, the data format two in which uh, if you if you see just here the first format is having six or seven columns and the data format two is having four or two five columns okay in that four to five columns you have to create what we call as a link id that's a little bit more tricky as compared to the data we have shown in the upper part of the file then we have the chromosome and start and end and we can specify attribute as per our requirement once again another part is called the ribbon track uh, ribbons are uh, just like the lines but they they sometimes we want to specify some data more prominently uh, uh, in in more boldly so we can use the ribbon tracks uh, the ribbon as a link track so they are also a type of link track and the data format of the ribbon is similar to what we have the for the links track and the ribbon uh, these tracks are very important and these tracks can be further you know formatted or further visualized in terms of the radius of the track and uh, radius of the track determines location between the center and the itogram itogram is the the main layout of the chromosome and the center the radius of the track the rules uh, which can be used to specify different colors depending on the values and axis and background so these are all the attributes which can we can we can tweet with we can deal with we can change these attribute to create the layout as per our requirement that's why i i said in the beginning that the circus plots of iterative process we start uh, in a hit trial process uh, when we start and we grow the we build the track one by one it's just like a painting uh, a painting on a canvas uh, and which we we build a paint paint uh, painting slowly slowly so that's why depending upon the data you create the tracks the create the data uh, create different relationship between the track choose different parts of the track uh, depending upon your requirement and you build the circles actual the final circles layout slowly slowly uh, by adding different tracks and, and and adding different attributes to the tracks so there are some of the uh, well uh, defined tutorials uh, in galaxy uh, cancer genomics tutorial presidential debate presidential debate tutorial and and code cover tutorials and, and that uh, these tutorial uh, you know justify the point which i raised that circos were originally developed for uh, dealing with the with the genomic data but they are used for many different parts of data so the second example is the presidential debate data that can be shown in form of circular layout and encode cover data also but uh, uh, for the today's tutorial today's hands on uh, what we will be doing is we will be concentrating we will be uh, specific very specific uh, uh, dealing with the cancer genomic how we can create the layout of the cancer genomic using circos uh, options in in the use uh, in, in the galaxy server so that will be dealing with and this is a this is a tutorial i will uh, i will uh, you know ask you to uh, I, will, I will copy this tutorial uh, in a in, uh, in the chat box uh, which you can use uh, uh, and you can go ahead along with me to create some plots uh, in this tutorial every type of data is there uh, I, I will let you know how to download the data or how to uh, specify the data using links and how to go with different parts so that we will be covering in the the next lecture we will try to create a plot which is similar like this or if the times uh, time permit we can go ahead creating the an entire plot or we can try to uh, use two one or two options so that we can have idea how to go with other options and how to create a create such type plots such type of plots 
Okay. So these are the references uh, which I I must acknowledge uh, from which where I have taken many figures and the main content of my today's talk was from the Galaxy tutorial Circos tutorial available at the Galaxy platform. The link for which I will be sharing. Uh, with this, I I must say thank you, and uh, I will finish the first part of my uh, my presentation where uh, we have just got an overview of what are different type of circular layouts and how we can uh, uh, what are the different different type of circular tracks and how we can create that will be defined in the next part of the lecture. And before moving to the next part, I think we will take a break of a minute and I will spend that time to ask you. People, if you have any question to uh, re ask regarding this matter, so this is a campus of my uh, college, and uh, you are always welcome to visit uh, there, and uh, you are always welcome to collaborate and work with us. So, before going to the tutorial part, the hands-on part uh, that will be live uh, on the Galaxy platform. Uh, I will be very happy if anybody want to have any question or we can always have question in, in the WhatsApp group or in the chat box. So if, if there are no more questions, I think we will uh, straight away move to, uh, uh, to uh, what we call as a uh, as a circus builder to build a tutorial we will try to build a circus map and we will feel the use of circus uh, i will try to sensitize you uh, how to build circus map uh, using galaxy so i will i will straight away uh, move to that uh, am i permitted to do that sugul or ashok yeah please go ahead Paji. okay so give me a minute So before going to the uh, next part, uh, I will share the link here in the chat box. Uh, the link you can uh, use to go along with me if you want, or or you can concentrate on what I am doing on this tutorial. Okay. So I will also uh, put this link on the WhatsApp chat group so that uh, some if the people who have not joined or not able to join today. They can also have a session. I will put that tutorial in the chat box after some time. So this is a website uh, uh, where we need to log in. Uh, I hope everyone has a has got a uh, got a account on Galaxy platform. And uh, if you see this uh, link here. So it may ask to uh, their connection is uh, uh, their connection is not secure, but you have to go to advanced option and you have to proceed further. So we will be uh, doing. Uh, we will trying to create the. Uh, so just type circus here and there will be many options shown and out of these many options the, we will start today with the simplest option like circus visualizing uh, data in a circular layout so this is the option where you have to uh, first go and uh, in this tutorial there are some of the files which are available and uh, how to import that data this is very important I think you might have learned that from uh, Kiran but I will try to uh, revise that part so how to import uh, import via link uh, just copy the links so these links are already there in the tutorial uh, open galaxy upload manager where the galaxy upload manager is there you have to 
uh, go for a data so I have already uh, It's a top right on the tool panel. Just give me a minute. So if you click on the up tools panel, this is a tool panels in the top right of the tool panel, this is option to upload data and there are many options to upload data. You can choose from the local files, uh, you can choose from the active files, uh, paste or fetch data, there is another option here. So we will go, go to the page and uh, paste and fetch data and we will copy all the links here. Uh, if you, uh, you are using this uh, uh, server many times using this data for other uh, servers also the other purpose also uh, what you can do is you can keep this text files already downloaded from uh, on this particular uh, uh, links and you can you can keep that in form of a local directory for uh, so that's where the galaxy is very important a galaxy is very useful we do not to do that actually we can uh, we can start downloading the data from the links and that data will remain here in our repository so that data will be added to the history just wait when the uh, screen is green and it 100% complete the status is 100% complete we can close yeah I will paste the links in the chat box I don't have any problem thank you So it will take some time to upload data. Uh, I already had a copy of data. I think that will work for me uh, today. So, so I will move on to the next step. Okay. So these are uh, some of the things you have to follow uh, when we cro to create a circle plot. The first ideogram, the simplest one, uh, which we want to create using using circles. So these are uh, the options which we want to we want to memorize we want to uh, use uh, for creating the carrier type or ideogram type of data here so uh, go to again visualize data in circular form and in that instead of uh, uh, circles you have to select the customer carrier type as per the instructions given in this tutorial okay carrier type configuration uh, this file will be there and you have to select this file uh, at HE18 carrier type with band so this this file are already uploaded in the data we uploaded just now and these file will be there uh, as an input for the next step we have to specify some of the parameters like uh, as already sa said that we can control the radius of the uh, uh, circular plot we can control the thickness and of the ideogram. We can uh, control the label font size, not only font size, color, and many other things. But I will be I will be confining myself to uh, to to this particular example so that when you practice at home, when you when you try to reproduce this example, there should not be any confusion. There should not be any doubt. And once your doubts are clear, we can go for another uh, you know it's a challenging work which I which I might be giving you in the next coming days so in ideogram option let us try to try to tweak with the so these are all options there and this is the basic front of galaxy in galaxy all the parameters will, will be given in such a type of layout so we can go for ideogram we can go for we can go uh, to to play with the general uh, parameters we can go for 2d tracks we can go for scaling and other, other things. So let's start with the, uh, the ideogram. In ideogram, 
uh, we can go for uh, uh, the, we will start to specify the first parameter like spacing between the ideograms so let us have a spacing between the uh, ideogram to Fifty radius point nine, point eight, point eight five. That can be uh, there. Thickness say forty five. Okay, angle we will keep uh, uh, same. And let's now uh, go to the labels part. In the labels part, let us try to change the font by. Uh, 64 i think yeah so these are the parameters you can always change this parameter and that's what you have to do at home you have to change all the parameter and you have to see which plot fit best best to your expectations now go for the cytogenic bands part In the cytogenic bands There are some of the parameters, uh, uh, parameters like what is the transparency of the band, and what should be the band stroke thickness. So transparency of the band that can, can be increased or decreased. If you you can increase or decrease by giving the numbers here, or even you can shuffle uh, these parameters. You can have this band stroke thickness is I think one. Yeah. Okay. So once these uh, uh, parameters are there. Even we can we can have a we can specify different colors and all other things. So I will be limiting myself again for uh, this particular parameter. So once we have changed the parameter, we can execute the job. So once the job is executed, it will take a minute uh, uh, to execute this job. Uh, there there will be the processing icon shown uh, here. And this processing icon shows that our job is running and we have to wait for the job to finish it. And I think if there is not much load on the Galaxy server, uh, that job will be finished in, in just uh, a few seconds. Are you trying along with me or you are waiting, uh, you are only listening to me? Is anybody trying? Uh so I am trying along with you. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you try, I, I don't have any problem. We, we are spending time here. And uh, my strategy always is to uh, learn more and not bother about the, uh, about the, uh, you know, the volume of the content. Uh, we may, we may do small things, uh, little bit of things, but that should be clear to all and that we should all should enjoy. So the plot is ready and, uh, uh, if you click on this particular job, uh, it will say that because it will create an image, the type of the image will be PNG. And uh, uh, this image is already created and there are many options like if you want to copy the link of the image or if you want to download the image uh, in PNG format or, or if you can show this image in, uh, uh, in, in this layout also. You can show this here, view data, okay? So I will show both of the options. Let us view the image here in, in, in this plot. And also try to download the data. Well, if you, if you go for, uh, for the view plot, you can say that, you know, these are different type of uh, those which are available here and i think i can i can zoom in or out uh, uh, to see this, this map let us open this image here sir i think it will be easy to view if i download that file yes, and yes i'm, I'm doing the, i doing that because the image is a bigger one uh, so the screen size is limited. So 
its battery it can go to the download folders i'm i'm trying to do the same thing thank you So you can view the image uh, as well. So, so this is the image created. Uh, I hope everyone has got the similar image. Uh, ho those who are practicing along with me. Okay. Yes, sir. The image is similar. Image is similar. Okay. So let's try to uh, change the parameter a little bit and try to see what happens here. And changing the parameter is very, very 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 simple in galaxy and that's another important feature of using galaxy just click on this uh, run this job again this parameter this is just like a, a like a reload parameter uh, reload button which you are having on your browser click here the same job will be there same input will be there and you can you can try to you know change the parameter for example if you want to change the thickness by say 30 or 20 or 30 and if you want to the label size if you want to change the label size instead of 64 to say uh, 35 and you can do all this thing in a in a very nice and very simpler manner so all the parameters you have you already have used they will be save, saved in form of this job and when to change the parameter, if you want to change the parameter, that that is very simple to change. So let's have the trans band transparency of three. Let us have a band stroke thickness of uh, say two, and let us rerun the job and let's see what happens. And, and by the time the plot is uh, being generated, we will try to move uh, on the next part of uh, this. We want to uh, show some of the variations here. And uh, uh, now the, the basic karyotype, basic ideogram is there. So now we want to add some track. So I will, I will teach you how to add the first track. And then I will give you uh, as a homework, as an exercise, where you can try to build other tracks at your own. And we will interact with each other uh, during the, during the practice time. Uh, after uh, the first track, I will develop. Uh, I will give you time to practice, and we will interact on the WhatsApp so that if you face any problem, uh, we can always uh, help you out. The second track I want to show is the line track, uh, where we want to show the structural variation. And before uh, we go to the track, uh, I, I just wanted to tell you something about or maybe some people are already aware of I will try to revise something about the structural variations okay so structural variations means when there are large scale genomic rearrangements are there means there may be some part of the chromosome deleted uh, at or it's, it may be inserted at some other part there may be some noble or noble insertion there they there may be a transposable element uh, who has inserted a, uh, in, who has created a rap repeat somewhere in the genome, uh, the part of the genome may be tandemly duplicated means duplication one after the another. Or there may be a part of the genome which has been duplication which is separated by a distance which we call as a interspersed duplication. Or there may, may be a part of the genome which has been, <laughs> excuse me, uh, which has been inverted uh, uh, here. So these are many type of uh, structural variations which can be there and circos is an excellent way to examine, excellent way to depict these circular variations in, in the plot. So how to uh, ha have, so these are uh, the example which we will be giving here, the example uh, created uh, uh, from one of the examples of the Philadelphia chromosome. In this chromosome, a structural variation is absorbed during the disease called leukemia 
uh, there is a uh, if there's a mutation in this particular type of mutation there is a translocation of the genetic material which translocation occurs between chromosome 9 and chromosome 22 and if you remember uh, from my uh, initial set of tracks uh, that what type of data can be there so when we try to have a to plot a link between two different parts of the chromosome so you have to specify in the first format of the data you have to specify the the attributes of the first chromosome which is 9 here and the attributes of the second chromosome which is 22 here okay and what happens is that uh, this translocation of genetic material creates a fusion of genes between bcr and abl1 and that create what we call as a hybrid protein and that creation of that hybrid protein impairs many signaling pathways causing cell to divide in an uncontrolled fashion and red what we call as a leukemia so it's a type of a cancer okay so that has been shown in a uh, form of uh, the uh, you know this is a normal chromosome 9 it has a abl part very well defined this is a normal chromosome 22 bcr part is also very well defined but a chromosome break happens somewhere here and this part abl part uh, this happens here also one break is here another break is here and these two parts the parts which i am trying to highlight here they come together they come together from what we call as a hybrid chromosome So there, there are some errors uh, I'm getting from the chat box, but we'll discuss uh, these chat box in a while. So uh, uh, I think our job, uh, the next job is also completed. And uh, let's click on this job. And let, let's try to download this file also. And let us see what happens to this particular uh, the plot in which we have changed the layout here. So this is the plot with the change layout. Uh, I think uh, uh, because the file name might it might have the same, so it has deleted the other part. So you can try to see the difference between the two plots. And, uh, and the message here is it's very easy to change the parameter and to create the new plots in Circos. That's another beauty of Circos. So let's move to our part. And this is uh, this part, uh, this file will require the information. The information for example the IT IT means uh, if you remember uh, the IT of uh, the particular uh, uh, site left chromosome means the first chromosome its attributes like position left strand left length what are the there and similarly the attribute for the second chromosome it's better to copy this file on a notepad or download this file uh, and try to see what happens so the format is of the input is chromosome start and for the first chromosome, the chromosome start and for the second chromosome. And there are many other attributes which can be specified as per the requirement. Okay. Uh, Interchromosomal distance, uh, junction sequences, if you have some sequences resolved here. So that type of information can also be there. I can just go through this information. And that information is many times available with uh, the genomic data which we generate in our experiments. Or we can mine the data uh, to get these type of attributes so what we have to do is uh, there is uh, uh, we have to you know this this file is very long file and we want to concentrate on on the on the our part so there may be many columns there and we want to use some of uh, only the few of these columns so what we have to do is we have to cut the data and to cut the data we have to use a tool which is called the cut tool, okay in galaxy in Galaxy, there are cut tools. There is something called, uh, uh, you know, uh, cut columns from a table tool. Means there is a table there. And this is also a very important feature, very important utility in Galaxy. Usually, uh, to cut the chromosome, either we have to do some manual intervention or we have to use, write some scripts or we have to use some Linux commands. Uh, but in the Galaxy cut tool, it makes the things very, very simple for us. And how to do that? We have to specify some of the pattern which should match. You have to specify the input file. The input file will be high confidence junctions.tsv. Uh, so we need to have some junctions here uh, because 
uh, if we want to say that there are some chromosomal translocations, chromosomal rearrangement, so there will be some relationship between that, that arrangement, arrangement. The relationship we actually identify and try to create some uh, create the links between that uh, different parts. So that relationship are there in this file. You can view this file again uh, on your own computer, high confidence uh, junctions.tsv. Uh, this file was already downloaded when we downloaded the files here. And we have to select some of the uh, patterns here. So I will open the data for you here. Let us go for the cut tool. Just type cut or cut columns. Okay. So there will be uh, there will be some of the tools here. Cut columns from a table. Uh, there is in bracket cut there and there is a cut columns uh, uh, from a table without the cut. So we have to use uh, uh, the format uh, which is without cut. Okay. Let us click on this cut column from the table. And uh, let us try to uh, select a file like high confidence uh, junctions.tsv file. Okay. Delimit by which columns to cut. So uh, if you if you see this data, uh, there was many columns. So we need columns like chromosome number, the first chromosome number, start and end, the second chromosome number is start and end. So we need these columns. So these columns are there in column number two, C two, C three, C three, C six, C seven, C seven. So we have to have to have these type of columns. Cut column here. And you always select lines from uh, the option. We have to specify a part pattern here. Just give me a minute. There must be an option to uh, select the files here. Okay. 
so so i will get back to in the first step so what we have to is we have to uh, select lines from option and uh, we have to select all the lines which do not match a particular patch patterns like uh, uh, carrier sign specified that the line should not start with a hash sign uh, or greater than sign or less than sign except except these lines we have to use all, all, all the lines and from these many lines we have to cut the column number columns in this pattern like first C column number two column number three column number three again because we have to specify the junctions column number six column number seven column number seven and again so this is the type of data we need to have don't know why the select option is not coming here is anybody trying that option Uh, no sir, uh, I can see the same thing which uh, you can see that cut columns I, and uh, I have run this example uh, a couple of days before. Uh, let's try to explore this example. This should be there. Column specification is coming. No problem. But cut in lines, so we have to specify some lines. So that is not coming here. No, so we will, I will move to the next step. I already have the file there, I think, and I will use that file, and we will move on to this one. The previous run we were we have made, uh, the first one, we will try to read on that, and we will try to specify some of the options here, like in in link data we did not use the link uh, in the link track. There will be an option to insert link data. And this link data, uh, we have to use some of the, uh, we have to change some of the parameters like the inside radius should be 0.95. Or we can also use a bigger or smaller radius. Link type, uh, uh, link data source. Uh, high confidence dot TSV. We can use that link data source. Uh, link type. Let us take it a basic. Instead of ribbon, let us go to the basic type. We can also create a ribbon. We will try that also. Thickness three, radius uh, three. Thickness of the links. In rows. Okay, let us go to the rules tab. And in the rules tab, let us insert rule here. Insert conditions to apply. And in this condition, let us have intrachromosomal. Interchromosomal, sorry. And actions to apply. In third action supply, change fill color.
okay and we can choose the uh, fade color as red if we want just click on the color uh, uh, matcher and match the color to red here okay and let us with these parameters these parameters let us try to execute uh, the map okay so i think uh, uh, we were not able to give that data uh, to the plot uh, i think that data was missing here we have to cut the table and then only we can we can generate a proper map here let us try to use the cut tool again or how it works I think I, I got uh, the point where we were wrong yeah so we have to you have to use a tool guide select lines uh, that match an expression yeah so now we, we, we have to go again let's go for the high high confidence junctions here and uh, not matching we have to give this pattern here let us try to execute okay so these lines are selected and uh, if we go for now we see go for the cut tool cut columns tool So now we have to specify the chromosomes here. Sorry, column numbers here. And execute. Remember the name cut on data. You can always, always rename this data. And let us try to rerun the Citrus plot but defining a different uh, uh, line track yeah, instead of this file let us have a cut on 8 and now rerun the job
so so now we have learned two tools actually the one tool is select the lines and we have selected the lines based on the pattern we are given you can always use the tool for your other assignments or other uh, research uh, uh, problems where you want to cut lines with a particular pattern so that can be done very easily using uh, circos or some if you are confident in using linux that can be using uh, that can be done using very simple grep get regular expression command grep commands and the second tool uh, if we have a data we can always select the column and select uh, the sir, column uh, sir it gave me an error in the circos plot uh, in the circos plot you followed the same thing which i was doing uh, i hope so i have uh, you have selected the lines and you have uh, uh, selected the columns Yes. Uh, can I uh, present my screen? Just give me a minute. Give me okay, a minute. Okay. Let, let me see if, if if my plot is okay. Let's just wait. Yeah, my plot is fine. Yeah. Now, could you can present your screen so that I can resolve your issue. Uh, uh, let me stop sharing and let's present your screen. My, my, everyone got the point. So this was the initial plot. Then we have another one with some change parameter. And this is what we got. There are links, lines are there. We, we specified the color to be red. So the links are colored red. We specified the thickness. You can always change the thickness if you want to have a thicker plot. You can try to have the thicker, uh, you know, lines. Uh, that that all the things you can specify. Okay, and uh, in the meanwhile, it just just in a in a, another minute or two, let me resolve the problem, and then we will come back. What is the out? What, how we can what we can understand with this output? That's that's very important. So I will stop sharing, and, and I will allow sharing the screen of uh, uh, of uh, yeah. Can you repeat the process in front of me? Okay, uh, I will be going to this. No, just go through. Re yeah, re rerun this job. Okay. Yeah, good. Well, Shavash. And then line okay. tracks. Go to line track. Yeah. And here yeah. I will have to select carton data A. Carton right. data A. Yeah. And anything more I have to change? No, right now you not to do anything else. Okay, then I will be clicking on this execute. Is it running right now? Yeah, it, it is running. It is uh, in a gray bar as you can see. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, it is turning to yellow. So now it's under process and the job is currently running. Good, very good. I think I'm very happy that you all are aware of uh, different signals that what type of color combination specify the job is over or job is running or and there is an error and that's i think thanks to karen and sangram for uh, uh, giving you all the basics of uh, using galaxy good very good i'm really happy to interact with you people is taking some time maybe there is uh, many jaws being running in the okay now it has run oh very good congratulations you got the job uh, run in the right manner yeah good okay. thank you sir sometimes uh, we we do select a wrong file or wrong parameter that doesn't matter once uh, you will practice two or three times uh, everything will be fine okay now I am uh, stopping the share. Yeah, thank, okay. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. No problem. So I will coming back to this particular the output of now. If you see there are there are black bands here everywhere, and this is what we call as a line track. I will zoom it. That's very important. The line, the straight lines, because we are only trying to depict the relationship. Okay. Uh, the large the the larger the number of uh, you know the rearrangements a chromosome will be having the more will the, will be the black lines so can you can anybody of you of from you tell me 
which chromosome has the most plaque lines? Chromosome five. Yeah, chromosome five has the most dense plaque line. So we will uh, we will uh, you know concentrate on that chromosome and how to do that? So we'll simply go to uh, the galaxy. Yeah, Harpreet, uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, uh -huh. I'm making you a host. In fact, you know we have this core meeting. Uh, so please uh, continue uh, making it, and after the event, so please uh, stop the uh, you know session. Yeah. Is that okay? Sure, Prash, I will be taking another five minutes. I will also be joining the meeting. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, will you will you please stop the recording or should I stop the recording right now? Uh, Prash, uh, just give me a minute. I will stop the recording in another. I just want to show one more scenario to them. That's yeah, sure. I'm, I'm just making you uh, a host. Okay, thank please. You, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now, once you are having uh, uh, this type of information, now we will dig deep into uh, this information and we will try to concentrate on the chromosome number five to so how to do that uh, let us rerun the galaxy job let us uh, let us rerun the galaxy job and in the parameters like uh, i2 gram uh, limit limit chromosome so let us limit it as to chromosome five so now the map is there for all the chromosomes, uh, but uh, uh, the plot will only be generated limited to the chromosome number five. Okay. So with this uh, spacing between the ideogram, we can also uh, tweak a little bit here. So it's fifty. It's I think two last. We can go for point five. We can if we want to change the change the radius. We can always there, but. Let us try to execute this job and let us see what happens to chromosome number five. Why there were so many bands and how the bands look like if we uh, go if we, if we further uh, you know concentrate on chromosome five instead of all the chromosomes. I post. I hope everyone is uh, going along with me, and we are not getting getting so many errors. Have any one of you used uh, uh, you used uh, Galaxy earlier also? Or uh, in this workshop, you have uh, the first interacted. Uh, uh, using Galaxy platform, uh, I have just uh, been introduced to this workshop only oh, to this can, Galaxy you can, platform. Yeah, you can see the importance of this workshop. Like you are getting this opportunity. We uh, we were building this graph. I published a paper uh, in which I I built this graph, uh, these type of uh, graphs, in particular ribbon representation. But I was not aware of Galaxy tools, and it took me a lot of time to do that. And Galaxy has made the things very, very simpler. Just you need to uh, learn the basics and try uh, on your own. So now see, uh, this is a chromosome 5. Now instead of all the chromosome, this ideogram is shown only for the chromosome 5. And, and this picture clearly depicts uh, why there were very la dark uh, bands in chromosome number 5 because there were many such type of duplication many such type of rearrangement which are were there and even in, in chromosome number 5 also there are some of the regions particular regions which are very rich in duplications or structural variations uh, so these type of uh, uh, things you can always explore uh, uh, using galaxy and uh, I will I will motivate you to complete this tutorial to dig more into uh, the you know the more scenarios of uh, using galaxy to uh, you know to create circular layouts uh, to to generate more tracks to add more tracks uh, to visualize more sophisticated things in the data and uh, keeping in view the uh, you know the shortage of time 
uh, I will be uh, stop sharing my screen right now and I will be concluding my uh, talk today and uh, I will be happy to have any questions from you uh, right now or or during uh, you can chat with me uh, in the WhatsApp Galaxy WhatsApp group I think in which you all have been added okay so excuse me sir uh, yes yes sorry to ask you one question yeah, I think you are in a hurry to go no no problem, uh, no problem. Just I wanted to know that if I have a SRA file accession number, how okay. to upload that data? For perhaps for my the whole genome sequencing or, or my trans transcriptome data, I okay. want to upload both pair and both forward and reverse in zip file. So how to upload without downloading, uploading from the local files? I want to give the accession of that SRA file. It's very no simple. What I just showed you that you you just copy the link of the data, and if you follow the follow the tutorial, where to get that link, sir? Uh, could you please show in a glance? Uh, uh, uh how to get that SRA data? Yes, sir. SRA. Can you give me a session number? Moment, I can. If you give me the session number, uh. So let, let's go to NCBA SRA. Okay. And uh, can you give me any any keyword here to search? So can you please share your screen? Okay, sorry. So I've just opened the NCBA SRA. And uh, can you give me just a keyword you wanted to search for? I have pasted that uh, accession number okay. in the chat box. Thank you. So which type of file you want? There are a number of files there. This, this is a, a page for SRA. Uh, it's a, a Resonance Communist Leaves Control 2. Uh, RNA-seq data is there. And uh, OK. And this is a parent data. I want individual for forward and reverse. Okay, you do not want the parent data, okay? I, I want, I want, because this is a parent, but I want to upload upload both the data separately. And, yeah. Okay, you want to upload both the uh, data separately, okay. I think, sir, you can click on the run, the down, run. Yeah, this one. Yes. Here I get confused how to take it. The uh, so one way is sir, we can go to read on the top. Read is there read option. We can take both for we can you can click on reads. Yeah. So this SRR that accession number is there for forward and reverse. Okay. So this this is read separated where there's a written read separated. Fine.
so uh, uh, can the bam file will do for you or do you want to have, to have faster sir, files sir, sir, sir i need the fast few files fast few files okay let's try again go to read data i think this may help sir yeah uh, this sr starting from srr up to 50.1.1 this is the yeah not okay, this, not this, that this one where you clicked before okay this one yeah, yes sir but i think that will help from starting from srr okay. to 1.1 50.1.1 this okay. we can copy and through get data we can put in the accessor number because the top one is for forward downward is the reverse but my problem is that if i am doing that i am not getting it is showing error so i wanted to know okay okay uh, let us try to see if it is happens if we are able to do that yes sir Okay. Let's go to Galaxy. Upload data and uh, choose app to view file, local file, fetch data. Download data from the web or directly paste the content. Composite. excuse me sir sir i yeah. think yeah. you can go to direct get data mm. if you go to get data option there will be accession number you can go directly to get data where upload uh, upload data no sir get data you can direct get data so it used to show some option yes sir there will be let's let's see get that there will be one space okay yes uh, you know that like uh, upload data through ncbi some options will be there should come uh, so what what can i do is i understood uh, what problem you are facing and yes sir uh, if you get sir, back to you after the meeting and uh, yes sir I, I yes sir you solve your, no. your problem is uh, the data you have uh, you are having uh, i need to upload the uh, fast queue files fast queue both file. forward and reverse what? so so I, i will try to solve your problem don't worry okay 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 sir fine sir ऑल thank you bye please thank, thank you thank you harpreet thank you very much so i'm stopping uh, the recording fine yeah you can stop